Hello children today i'm going to read chapter number 2 from the book interactive science of class 5 and the name of the chapter is the skeletal system now let's get started with reading the chapter the skeletal system our body has many systems one very important system is the skeletal system but what is a skeletal system The skeletal system is a framework of bones that gives shape and support to our body. These bones join to form the skeleton. The skeleton is a bony cage that protects the internal organs in our body. There are 206 bones in an adult human skeleton. The skeletal system consists of all the bones in our body as well as our joints. skull backbone rib cage limbs and hip girdle are parts of the skeleton as you can see in the picture the following picture shows different parts of the skeletal system you can see all those parts from the picture and make a note of them now let us understand what bones are what are bones the hard parts that you feel at different places in your body are bones We cannot see them because our skin covers them. Bones can be of varying sizes. They can be short, long, flat or irregular. Bones are made of minerals, mainly calcium and phosphorus. A bone has a thick outer wall which is hard to give our body support and protection. The inside of some bones is soft and spongy. This is called the bone marrow. The marrow has many blood vessels. when you were a baby you had more than 300 bones some joined together as you grew up our bones keep growing as we grow that is why we get taller and broader you can see this inside a big bone there is a liquid which is known as marrow blood vessels bring nutrition to the bone it contains blood vessels that give nutrition to the bone the calcium phosphorus vitamins and water in your food keep your bones healthy and strong so we should consume more of calcium phosphorus and vitamins and of course water for healthy bones so the main points on this page are there are 206 bones in an adult human skeleton a child has more than 300 bones that join together to form 206 bones as an adult then a liquid a soft and spongy material that is inside the big bones is known as bone marrow let's move ahead to read the next part of this chapter that is skull a skull is made of 22 bones of which the upper part is made of eight flat bones joined together which protect the brain it has holes for our eyes nostrils mouth and ears Our teeth are attached to our skull. Our face and jaw have fourteen bones. The only part of our skull which we can move is our lower jaw. This is important. We can eat, bite, and chew and talk with this movement. The upper and the lower jaw give structure to the mouth. The teeth are rooted in the jaws. This is important. Our skull protects our brain and the sense organs eyes ears and nose. You can look at the skull in the picture. Moving ahead we have backbone which is spine. Our skull is attached to our spine. Our spine has 33 small bones called vertebrae. These bones are stacked one on top of the other. Each bone has a hole in it through which our spinal cord passes. Our spinal cord is an extension of our brain. It is very delicate. Many nerves branch out from here. Our spine protects our spinal cord. Next is rib cage. Our rib cage is made up of 12 pair of bones. That means 24 bones in total. They are thin curved bones. You can see in the picture. They are attached to our spine at the back and our breast bone in front. The last two pairs of ribs are joined to the backbone but not to the breast bone. These are called floating ribs. Our rib cage protects our lungs and heart. So that is clear to you children. 
let's move ahead to the limbs limbs are arms and legs now the bones in our limbs are very long our upper arm has one bone called the humerus our lower arm has two bones our hands have many small bones our upper arm is joined to the spine by the shoulder blade and collar bone which make up our shoulder girdle you can look at this uh, diagram showing all these bones and understand them collar bone you can see in the picture and you can also feel and touch the part that stretches from your neck to the shoulder here it is the collar bone you can look at the picture and find it out let's move further our thigh has one long bone called femur this is important femur f e m u r which is the longest bone in our body children make a note our leg has two long bones our feet has many small bones our thighs are joined to our hip girdle the bottom of our spine also joins our hip girdle you can look at this uh, diagram showing hip girdle femur and thigh bones now let's study importance of bones bones protect the delicate organs of our body please make a note about delicate organs of our body bones protect the delicate organs like heart which is a muscular organ and uh, bones protect those organs lungs again they are delicate organs the skull protects the brain and the eyes okay lungs and heart are protected by the rib cage our spinal cord is well protected inside the backbone the hip girdle gives support to our stomach intestines and other organs so these are the examples of the delicate organs that are protected by the bones next is importance of muscles now comes the muscles bones cannot move by themselves muscles are attached to bones that help them to move they also help in digestion muscles help us to breathe in and out smile and frown open and shut our eyes swallow food and much more there are three kinds of muscles number 1 voluntary muscles are those which can move or stop moving at our will they are under our control our arms legs hands and feet have voluntary muscles can you think of any other parts which you can move when you want to they will all have voluntary muscles you can look at the picture how these muscles look like voluntary muscles are long and cylindrical they have bands all over that is why they are called striped muscles so the muscles which can move or stop moving at our will they are under our control are known as voluntary muscles number 2 is involuntary muscles are those we cannot control our blood vessels stomach food pipe and intestines are some parts with involuntary muscles you can look at the picture showing involuntary muscles involuntary muscles are short and spindle shaped they are without bands and are therefore called smooth muscles number 3 is cardiac muscles are muscles which are present in the heart they work all our life pumping blood throughout our body cardiac muscles look like voluntary muscles the only difference is that they are branched these muscles keep on working day and night and are involuntary in nature you can look at the picture showing the cardiac muscles then comes importance of joints the place where two bones join together is known as joint joints help us to move and bend joints work like hinges of a door ball and socket joints can move in all directions Some examples of joints which help us to move are joints at the elbow, knee and shoulder. The joints on our skull and between the ribs and the breastbone do not move. Such joints are called immovable joints. Joints which help in giving movement to the bones are called movable joints. The bones are held together at a joint by strong tissues called ligaments. So this is important. You can look at the picture where you can see the ligaments. which are strong tissues that join the bones together a ligament is like a strong strap our body makes a special liquid that oils our joints you can see the oily liquid that is blue in color inside a joint and these are two bones attached to it um, as shown in the picture let's move ahead now 
so this oily liquid is very important because it makes movement smooth and easy the joints are lubricated with this liquid special covers help hold joints together and keep the oily liquid okay so they have special covers also next is different movable joints in our body move these parts of your body do they move differently number 1 is hinge joints a hinge joint allows the body part to move in only one direction it is just the hinge of a door look at this elbow knee and toes you cannot move it both ways number 2 is ball and socket joints in such joints the round ball like end of a bone rotates and moves in the socket of the girdle bone you can look at the shoulder the hip bone these are ball and socket joints next is number 3 pivot joint this joint occurs where your skull meets the first vertebra it allows some amount of circular motion and up and down movement fourth is sliding joints gliding joint here the bones glide or slide over one another you can see the wrist ankle spine between the vertebrae next is functions of the skeletal system the functions of the skeletal system are number 1 bones give shape and support to the body number 2 they give support to the organs for example the intestines lie above the hip girdle as you can see in the picture number 3 bones give protection to the delicate organs of the body this is very important brain is well protected in the upper part of the skull the heart and lungs are protected by the rib cage the spine protects the spinal cord number 4 is Red blood cells and platelets are made in the bone marrow of large bones of legs and arms make a note of this number 5 bones allow movement of different body parts this is very important children please learn this properly now the next thing which we are going to discuss is about care of bones and joints which is very very important simple change like eating a healthy diet is good for your joints because it helps build strong bones and muscles checking your weight is the best you can do for your joints exercise can help to reduce and maintain a healthy weight good posture also helps your hip joints and back muscles take phone calls while standing for your bones make sure you get enough calcium every day eating foods such as milk yogurt broccoli figs and fortified foods like soy milk or almond milk you also need to take vitamin d to keep your bones and joints healthy dairy products cereals soy milk are fortified with vitamin d oranges also give your joints a healthy boost vitamin c and other antioxidants are important and can keep your joints healthy make a note vitamin c and antioxidants can keep your joints healthy Now you know that bones are hard on the outside the inside of some bones is soft and spongy called the bone marrow where blood cells are made number 2 the skull spine rib cage limbs arms and legs and hip girdle are parts of the skeleton there are three kinds of muscles voluntary involuntary and cardiac number 4 there are four kinds of joints the hinge joint the ball and socket joint the pivot joint and the sliding joint number 5 bones give shape frame and support to our body muscles are attached to bones that help to move number 6 the skeletal system helps us in movement number 7 outdoor games and exercise keep our joints in good working conditions i hope you like the chapter do not forget to like subscribe and share our channel and for the back exercise stay tuned for the next video thank you so much Happy learning please subscribe the channel smart kids wonder bye bye